Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. Now, who doesn't love a classic, your likes are public moments? This is one of the fixtures of my channel, one of the- Oh, for fuck's sake, and even after my video, he's still doing this, your likes are public moment. Rev, you literally had animated kitty porn in your likes. Shut the fuck! He got his king. That's right, we're back. We are entertaining more of his chicanery. Hello boys, it's your guy Simkiller here. And today we're going to be talking about how this pedophile defender, and also doubling that as a pedophile, is back at it again with his hypocrisy and, of course, his bullshit. So as I said in my last video, he got doxxed horribly. But uh, my editor, actually, Editor Dino, give her some love. She's, uh, I don't think she wants her social medias out there, but she's a very nice artist. She designed this thumbnail, so you should give her some love. Anyway, so th this motherfucker's back at it again, virtue signaling, and trying to be all like, Oh, see, I'm not a pedophile, but we all know he is, and guess what? We got some new screenshots, courtesy of Dino. But first, let's get through this video, because I'm sure that you want to see what else he has to say on this subject. So let's hear him out, stupidly. And I'm very proud of it because it's an effective tool to use against hypocrites who are virtue signaling about fictional content where they try to label something as problematic in fiction and Ah yes Rev, I too love blackmailing if it gets me something as well. Problematic is being Lolly, he defends Lolly because you know he likes jacking off to it so of course this is his magnus operandum and he's proud of that fact too because it stops people talking shit about him. Not me, though. You ain't got shit on me, and you never will have shit on me, so go ahead and look through my Twitter likes. I ain't got nothing to hide and like your wife, you two-bit half-point bitch. So go ahead and keep trying to pretend like you're being on the right side of things. Because you're not. You're a fucking clown who thinks that by pa calling these people out, it somehow doesn't label you a predator. But you fucking are. I mean, look at your docs, Rev. Look at your wife. She looks like fucking 20 years younger than you, you fucking freak. Oftentimes, they have that exact type of content, or worse, in their public Twitter likes. And today, we're going to look at another example of that, a little short... Alright then, Rev, well, seeing as we're all being so open and fucking candid about this, why don't you address this screenshot, uh, here, where you're talking about how people on Twitter apparently draw the line of fictional incest. What's that, everyone? Rev is making fun of people who think incest is a fucking disgusting thing when it happens? That's right, everyone! Rev is pro-incest! So if Rev is pro-incest, being the degenerate that he is, makes you fucking wonder what else the little fucking clown is into, right? See it as it's like, oh, I'm calling out all these people, and look at this shit! Like, what do you call this? You can't fucking sit here and virtue, vir virtue, virtue signal when you're fucking having arguments like this, bro. Like, what? What even is that? Like, bro. What the hell is even that? And, and then you have the audacity to kind of turn around and try and be like, how dare people not like fictional incest? Like, dude, you're a creep. You're as, like, creepy as they fucking come, I swear. Story, I love a short story on Twitter. Two parts is all you need. This user captioning the thread with LOL, LMAO, even. Now let's see what this is all about. So in a long argument about fictional content, this user says, the fact that you're seeing literal- Rev, what does it matter what this guy even likes? This video, you know what? Let, just keep all this in mind for later, because I'm, I'm building up to this, because he says that pedophiles don't watch Lolly or don't find interest in Lolly, right? So. Keep that in mind, that's going to be a very important talking point later on, so let's just get into the meat and potatoes of this because he talks too much. Boy howdy, this is not going to translate well to a YouTube video. This is going to be a bukkake of sensors. <laughs> can, we, can we just bring back his face and just look at his open? You can feel his fucking roi loins fucking rumbling and looking at them, bro. <laughs> oh, no, for real, Rev. Like, you're a fucking si sick freak, bro. Like, I guarantee you he also saved this uncensored it and now him and his wife are probably getting off to it this is so fucking funny bro like unless unless you have anything incriminating in your likes he won't go after you so there's a fat chance he'll do anything about this he's gonna be like huge and he's just gonna bend over and fucking take it because that's all these fucking lol cows are ever fucking good for nowadays let's flatten another fallacy that rev likes to make so who you're about to see coming up next for this next talking point is al jamal al, -J al jamal was a right-winged america first type of fucking guy made terrorist 
domestic threats and was arrested. What you may not know about Al Jamal is that he was also arrested for sexting and sending nudes to underage boys. Would you be interested in knowing what he does now? He is now of Lollycon who rates lollies, allegedly. Yes, so this pedophile, who is a confirmed pedophile, he was charged for it, he was charged, is into lollies. So where's your next fucking fallacy, Rev? Is this like a, uh... Is this like a case-to-case -case basis when this actually happens, or are you gonna say something else that makes you sound completely full of shit, which you already fucking are? Goes to show that you don't know what you're talking about, and I have, I have every reason to believe that you're exactly like Al Jamal here. Allegedly. Hey, you wanna see Rev's definition of lolly? I'm gonna warn you, it's gonna be fucking stupid and laced with obvious undertones. Lolly is a petite body type that has nothing to do with age, even though the connotations have age around it. There's connotations there. Half of Japan even agrees with this, that it has everything to do with age. Why do you think they had to ban CP in Japan? Rev, this shit that you're pointing out is even more fucking stupid when you realize that the person that you tried to say this to is literally telling you it's pedophilia. Like, you, you look like a fucking fool. Everyone is saying to you that it's pedophilic, but you don't want to listen to it because it doesn't fit into your narrative, bro. I don't know how else I can get it through your head, because this person can't, and I clearly can't. You're fucking hopeless, bro. Get outside and fucking touch grass for 10 seconds instead of fucking touching your dick to underage fucking children, you fucking freak. So guys, we got another great fucking video from Rev lined up. This one is about how Twitter apparently won against the lolly game he's defending. Uh, why do you people follow him, please? Just put it in the comments while you fucking follow him, because I'm convinced you're on a registry. Hey, what's up, guys? Rev here. So one of the most contradictory and bizarre groups of human beings out there have got to be people who claim to be antis, but also fans of the Fate franchise. You know what really annoys me about Rev? It's how smug and arrogant he is. Like, he's sitting there and he's trying to sound better than everyone else, even though he likes the same shit. Like, it's really fucking funny once you realize that he's no better than the people that he's trying to fucking cover. Like, Rev, I'm telling you, you're probably that fucking weirdo out of Spencer's that's in the sex aisle lying up all the fucking lingerie w wishing your fucking wife could fit in it. Like, you really need to shut the fuck up before I go off on your fucking dumb ass because this is getting fucking ridiculous. There is an entire genre of people out there who claim to be anti lolly and things like that while consuming Fate games and in particular consuming Fate Grand Order, the gotcha game from that franchise. They're hypocritical. Hey Rev, how about you fucking open your hard drive and let's take a look what's in it. Before you even dare call people out for what they play, think about your fucking self because I guarantee you if we opened up your fucking hard drive or your Steam account, We'd see all sorts of types of games and photos on there. So before you start <clears throat> pointing the fucking finger at these guys, do remember that you've had some intriguing likes yourselves. And by the way, bringing this up is such a fucking straw man's argument because literally in the fucking tweet, literally right there, it fucking says it. Like, are you really that fucking blind? Like, come on, man, this is fucking ridiculous. Also, notice how he senses the word pedophile, he keeps that censored, probably because it hurts his feelings and all of his fucking friends' his feelings, right? Someone needs to check his fucking hard drive right now. Hold him for questioning. Check his hard drive for child porn. Now, this makes absolutely no sense because you cannot breathe for a second in that game without coming across lolly-related themes. Once again, this imbecile can't read. The very tweet that he's fucking using is pointing this out, how horrible that game is because of that. Like, Rev, what's your fucking whole talking point here? You're literally screaming into the fucking wind. This is why no one likes you. You try to launch pad off of shit, and then when it fails miserably, you're all like, Oh, see, these guys are creeps. How can they, hypocrite? How can you fucking talk? Your whole fucking avatar is a lolly, you fucking creepy cunt. You want to see more of idiocy of his? This screenshot here is him arguing with someone. And this dude points out something. You can read it for yourselves if you want. I've already read it plenty of times. And as you can see, Rev makes the bold claim, do you even know where your profile picture comes from? Well, Rev, I'd say you'd be the best judge of that because the fucking da because you got a fucking custom-made shit in, in your damn fucking likes. So would you look at that? He's a fucking, not only a blatant hypocrite, but he clearly didn't bleach his likes well enough. Like, it, uh, he's such a fucking hypocrite here, and he's talking about how people are fucking hypocrites. Like, bro, touch grass. Like, I already have you done. Like, stop even trying. 
Well, that's pretty much all I have to say on Rev Says Desu. He's pretty much dead in the water at this point. There's not a lot he can say that can recover from this. And anyway, that's even besides the point. Hey, you Rev fans, because some of you were in my fucking comments on the f first video I ever did on Rev. Uh, if you want to keep trotting around with that same argument of, oh, they're just photos and you're getting mad over it, c keep coping with that, pedophiles to be. Keep coping with that, because eventually it will be made illegal and then you're all fucked. Because you can only use that excuse so many times before it catches up with you. So yeah, that's all I really have to say on the matter. Uh, do me a favour and actually like and subscribe. Uh, I, I never normally ask that, but I thought at this point I might as well. Because, you know, I, I, I do put a lot of work in these. It may not look it, but I actually do. And considering, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Leave, smash that like button. I bet it lit up there, didn't it? <laughs>